The Lake Placid Horse Show has returned for its 54th year. NBC 5's Eric Kerr was there today and has more on what this event means to riders and the community. The Jumper's Ring, which is a part of the Lake Placid Horse Show, is something that is a staple to this event. It's been coming back to the village for several years and also something that brings several of these returning riders to come back for many more. So yep. How many years have you been coming to the horse shows here? All for? 26 years of my life. I've, I've never missed it once. Ailish Cunniff from South Salem, New York, has been around the horse show grounds ever since she was born. To watch all the horses around her. Now at 26, she is competing alongside her idols. Things have changed over time, but nostalgia is still there for Cunniff. It makes it really special. Um, it makes it feel like a very historic horse show that we still have a field. A lot of fields around our country have been taken up and put in all weather footing, and that's what makes this horse show so unique. Cunniff is not the only one who appreciates the tradition. Even Olympic greats like 1996 silver medalist Peter Leone says he would not have earned the hardware without his start in the North Country first. The Lake Placid Grand Prix field, which is behind me, wow. is one of the most unique, challenging jumping fields in the United States, perhaps even in the world. It has a gentle roll to it and some dips, which really gives it an added dimension of challenge. Today in 2023, Philip Richter, chairman of the Lake Placid Horse Shows, is looking to keep that challenge for this year's riders true to form and hopes this local tradition lives on. Providing you know a safe field of play, providing a great venue. There's a balance of, of maintaining the greatness of the last 50 years, but innovating into the next 50. And that's sort of, as my role as chairman, what I try to achieve. And these riders will get to enjoy Lake Placid for 10 days of competition on the grounds, leading up to some major crash prizes on the line, including the big Grand Prix worth up to $75,000 in cash. But for now, reporting in Lake Placid, Eric Kerr, NBC5 News.